First things first, setting on its Kickstarter campaign with over 10 times its initial goal, actually much more go into stretch goals. Tales of Seikyuna has a release window of mid to late 2024 coming to all platforms as well. You can go ahead and visit the Nintendo Wii shop for further inquiries. Tales of Seikyu is a role-playing farming sim game offering players an immersive experience in a world where every choice and friendship can lead to new adventures. Here's the trailer. Summoned by its melody, where everyone must face their past, those who seek its power will come to its heart to reclaim it. Coming in at number 2, uh, we've got over here one of the longest awaited games on its way to consoles, a hack and slash RPG developed by Anima Project and going by the name Anima Song from the Abyss. Now those of you who played the first game know this is an almost two decade old franchise and ever since this is the studio's first Kickstarter and most ambitious project. Here's a trailer, Song from the Abyss is coming out within 2024. For the first time in almost two decades, Princess Peach is starring in her own video game. Princess Peach Showtime just went over with critical reviews and now has a release date of March 22nd on Switch. The game so far, the most charming platformer of 2024 in both looks and gameplay, with very simple controls and pace, and a pace suited for almost every age to play. Check it out. Company that released, we actually got a new trailer for it too. <laughs> NIS America came out with the word that they're releasing the famous IP by Falcom, Ease X, Nordix now, on the habit console late 2024. This is an action RPG Japanese original IP with an original compromised battle system, lots of sailing this time, and the story of two protagonists that crosses together. Just take a look. Ease X, Nordix actually takes place between the events of Ease 1 and 2. A sequel to Paper Mario for the Nintendo 
64, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door is in the making as well. Now we didn't realize this until now and it's actually a turn-based role-playing game in nature. Other than that, Nintendo finally announced this with a proper trailer. All we know is that it's coming within 2024 and that's possibly around October to November. All in HD remastered visuals. Control stick and taking to the skies. The kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. Then finally, I repeat. Ace Combat 7 is currently available on both PCs and consoles and has sold more than 5 million units so far. This game is finally coming to the third console, just the same Bandai Namco announced in July 11 this year. Additional DLCs not included in the deluxe edition over here. Skies Unknown, this is in case you miss out on its original, is actually one of the pinnacles of aerial combat video games of all time. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow him straight into the enemy squadron like that? He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, sure is. Soul One, what's your status? Well, I'm feeling a little excited. Trigger's taking the beast head on. I see the mark on his tail. You defile this country. As long as you're here, this country will never know peace. Yet what is a nation? I don't even have a country to call home. I wonder which path you would choose. Gargoyle 3 to battle. Ocean fighters do not attack. These are drones. It just looks like people are flying. Shit, I mean, why are we being made to do this? Yeah, I know. I'm heading into hell. Whatever. Adios, you damn fool. I see three strikes. Get up. Adjusting angle. Go! Aim for the one with three strikes. Thunder Bolt, don't freeze. Fire all remaining weapon rear three strikes. Fire! Head, damn it! Destroy the space elevator. There are even rumors of penal units turning on their former allies. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. A couple of weeks ago, Sega came out with the word that they're remastering a dozen-year-old game. Some of you know Sonic Generations into now Sonic X Shadow Generations which will technically offer upgraded visuals and 60 FPS gameplay, and this time even giving Shadow his own story campaign. The game will feature both 2D and 3D levels, including new abilities on Shadow, coming on all platforms around summer this year. Number 8. Uh, we've got the old Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown originally promised to be coming out a half a year ago, now set to release for PCs, Switch, and the next generation of consoles in mid-2024. Uh, this is in case you're just unfamiliar with an open world driving in life simulation from a series of games that go back to more than 20 years back, taking place in a replica one-on-one -on -one scale of Hong Kong. 
take a look. Within your army is assigned a certain class. Some specialize in melee combat. Others snipe enemies from the back row. Some provide healing to allies. And still others launch attacks from the skies. Coming in the number 9, we've got over here Unicorn Overlord. Uh, Atlas and Vanillaware have been, we've been led to believe, incredibly hard on the new game over here to bring out the best of both companies' specialties on a triple-A tactical RPG adventure, lots of exploration. Unicorn Overlord will offer an epic experience across a vibrant world and over 60 different characters throughout five different nations. Check it out, this game will finally come out on March 8th. Promotions can be awarded by spending honors, which you obtain primarily by completing quests. Reaching an advanced class will boost a character's stats and allow them to learn new skills. I see. It seems like promotions are key to expanding our range of tactics. Quite so. In your case, Your Highness, advancing to the rank of High Lord will allow you to swiftly traverse the map atop a mighty steed. On the Overworld, you will also encounter the Sigils of the Ancients, more pedestrianly known as Auxiliary Stages. In these stages, you may battle against armies of phantom soldiers to earn additional experience. Auxiliary stages can be repeated, giving you an excellent opportunity to level up your forces. It's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC country unit. Looks like break time's over. A couple months ago at the Nintendo Direct showcase, we finally got some gameplay on Contra Operation Galuga. This is actually another classic high-speed run-and-gun action shooting game with similar designs to the original Contra games. WayForward and Konami are actually working very hard together to make this possible, delivering the absolute best of 2D, 3D games with the traditional co-op run-and-gun action in the following month, actually. Need another hand? I should have known Contra had arrived when the entire jungle caught fire. Proceeding as ordered. Neutralized. Success. Contra. The Earth Marine Corps fights. Roger that. Cavalry's here. Heads up! Let's go! Supermassive Games, however, the same developers of the Dark Picture Games horror games, announced that Little Nightmare 3 is now coming out within 2024 without no delay. You probably know this already, but the new developers actually took over the rights to Little Nightmare's series from Bondi. The new entry is a co-op multiplayer game in a separate mode with a single player campaign, and this will even have a new story arc as well. A couple months ago, Level 5 came out and said that the game Deca Police is now coming out within 2024. It's a gameplay trailer for it, and that eventually it'll hit the PlayStation consoles as well, including Switch. Now, this, folks, in case you're just not familiar with the works, is actually the same 
team who made all the Nino Kuni games a script, take up place over here as a crime suspense RPG adventure in which players take on the role of detectives in a virtual world. Take a look. うまくうわ。Late last year, around December, Nintendo announced its 2013 Nintendo 3DS game Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon would be returning on the Nintendo Switch with HD visuals. Now we didn't hear one more peek until yesterday, a new trailer over here, reassurance that the game is coming to the Nintendo Switch within 2024. There's gonna be the addition of multiplayer and game purchases including the DLC, in case you miss it, this thing is an action adventure in nature. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe bulb, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Moving on, we have Megaton Musashi Wired. This is a action RPG fighting game developed by Level 5 Just the Same, which was originally released in 2021. For platforms, the game is now finally coming over to the rest for the first time, with fine-tuned mechanics to graphics and do out on April 25 of this year. Check it out, we actually got a new trailer for it too. <laughs> Rift of Necro Dancer, announced around August last year, in case you missed it, is another rhythm based action game from the same folks who made the old Crypt of Necro Dancer. It's actually a sequel to that game, where Cadence has been transported into a modern world and has to fight monsters from the Rift, using a unique mechanic in rhythm combat encounters. It's an interesting trailer, the game is coming out to all consoles later this year. Possibly. And 
last but not least, uh, we've got over here Batani Manor, which is an exploration puzzle game where you play as a retired batonist called Arabella the Green. I mean, the game is set in the 9th century, showcasing that time's designs and lifestyle. Batani Manor is actually from the same developers of the late game. This is another first person puzzle game in nature, and hopefully it'll be coming out on April 9 without delays. Thank you. 